modern systems gives us uh, new opportunities to manage properties in the most efficient way. In the field of property services, we see three main trends right now. One is uh, working with data-driven maintenance, uh, using more sensors and uh, more modern systems to be able to work uh, more predictively, proactively, and also connecting data on an asset level uh, to be more spot on. Another trend we see is, of course, sustainability. Energy savings, very high demand for projects and optimization within that area. But we also see an increased interest for sustainable property services, working with circularity, for example, reusing, repairing instead of replacing. And then we also, of course, have the, the well-being of the people in the properties, working with ventilation, heating, lighting. Modern systems gives us uh, new opportunities to optimize. Last but not least, we have battle for competence. Maybe not a new trend, but still very relevant. We need to have the best people being on top of new technologies to be able to manage properties in the most efficient way. So that's still an important trend. Well, I think general advice would be not to try to do everything at the same time, but also not wait for the perfect solution to come. Start testing. Try with proof of concepts, pilots, projects in a smaller scale so that you sort of get going with things and then you can develop over time. Talking about data-driven maintenance, we see a trend going from frequency-based contracts to more value-based contracts uh, where it's the output or value created that is more important than uh, maybe a number of rounds and that would give uh, service providers within the field of property new opportunities to optimize the deliveries, make them more efficient, which will also lower the total cost of ownerships for, for the clients. When it comes to the sustainability area, very challenging to navigate of course because it's a huge area and I'd say also here it's crucial to have valid data to sort of know your current state and then to be able to set a roadmap from there to your targets and one advice there would be to use experts within the field to make sure you get the right data and sort of uh, prioritize the right areas. And Last one, which is the battle for competence. I think we all need to engage to make sure we get the right competence into the market and develop the competence while in the market. So we can partner up with schools, for example, supporting schools, make sure the education consists of the right sort of uh, courses, support trainees who wants to come out and sort of try working and also, of course, develop um, employees to make sure they stay on top of new technologies. Well, from a personal point of view, I think it's really exciting and gives meaning to be within an area uh, where we can make a difference uh, on the environment. The property sector stands for a fairly large share of uh, CO2 emissions and by using new technologies, establishing new ways of working, we can actually make a difference here. Another thing that uh, gives me energy is the thought of optimizing by using data. I like the thought of creating the perfect delivery and by that also lowering the cost for our clients. So the whole trend with data-driven maintenance I find very uh, interesting and inspiring.